Hiroshima, a Showtime original miniseries, captures all the signs, all the emotion, all the controversy of the defining moment of the 20th century. A moment decided not only by armies, but by individuals. I'm sure they do want to end the war, Colonel, but on their terms, without occupation, punishment, or reparations. With different agendas. Tell them we have the bomb. We should use it without warning. The men behind the choices, both American. As long as we don't use this bomb, not even to test it, then it's not too late. We've all thought that the question was when the gadget would be ready to use, not whether it would be used at all. And Japanese. It looks like they intend to fight to the last man. Witnesses remember. The mountains in the background lit up just like it was daylight. Survivors cannot forget the decision that changed the world. Hiroshima. Premiering next Sunday evening at 8 on Showtime. On the next Outer Limits. A house that's not just haunted. Oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. It's alive. Oh my God. And it's hungry. That's when Derek disappeared. It becomes whatever it consumes. I know you come back to me, Derek. Once you go in. That's not Derek. It's the house. You may never come out. The new Showtime original series, The Outer Limits. Next part of the Showtime three-day weekend. Hey, want to see where Over the Edge Comedy hangs out? I feel honored. And check out these puppies. Awesome. It's Showtime Nighttime Sunday, starting with a new Sherman Oaks. Hey, honey, I'm so Mom's sorry. mishap has the cops sniffing out dear old dad. The police? Is that subtle, so? And she's not just any cop to Kenny. Could you show me a chokehold? Then, talk about your weird types. <laughs> it's Twisted Puppet Theater. Did I ever tell you I once made a club sandwich for one of Bill Clinton's stepdaddies? Puppets with a chip on their shoulder. Excuse me! Who won't be manipulated. What did you have in mind, stranger? Showtime Nighttime starts off with an all-new Sherman Oaks, then Twisted Puppet Theater. Tonight, starting at 11, part of the Showtime three-day weekend. He's kind of like a renegade professor of film. I only know that he makes people famous. Roger Corman is exactly the kind of person should be getting a life achievement award. Is this a Roger Corman movie? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I would say Roger Corman is a person who has worked in films most of his adult life. I have written, produced, and above all, directed.